Hi, I'm Lori, and welcome back to the Pantyhose Review. Today our episode is going to be featuring vintage pantyhose. And today we're going to be talking about pantyhose from the 60s and the 70s. Just going through some of the designs. Uh, an advertisement from uh, those eras. So this is one that looks like it's from the 60s. And many of these actually have been bought from eBay um, from Canadian suppliers. So this might be a Canadian one. It says it's a famous national brand, name brand pantyhose. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> Reminds me of the, uh, the no name brand. This is a package I think that was probably controversial for the time. This looks like maybe uh, sometime in the 60s from what she's wearing. And as you can see, there's a uh, construction worker looking up her skirt, <laughs> and she's doing that, uh, you know, whole Mar Marilyn Monroe holding down the dress position. I think that's kind of cute. I wonder if today, you know, that would be socially acceptable. So it's kind of interesting to see that um, in an era from so long ago. This looks like it's maybe a little more 70s. Um, I actually really like the look of the model. I think a lot of models nowadays are looking more 70s, so in a way this almost looks modern, which is interesting. This is the Pantyhose Super Bell. I have never heard of that brand, but apparently in the 70s it was known. Here is a one-size-fits-all pantyhose. And here you can see that the model has no underwear on. Um, just the pantyhose. And actually, I think in all of the advertisements um, for the pantyhose uh, products, it looks like none of the models do have underwear on. So that's interesting. It's kind of being used as an undergarment. You can kind of see the, the 60s, 70s hair there. There's the back. I'm not sure how one size can fit all, but apparently it does. <laughs> Here's an all-new pantyhose, sheer waist-to-toe, and you can see uh, the model's hair is teased in a bit of a bouffant, and that also reminds me very much of the 60s era. And she's just uh, nude, kind of covering herself with the pantyhose on. I think that's really pretty, actually. I like that. Um, here are some other kind of funny ones. <laughs> I think this one is from Canada, um, Pacific Mist One Size. <laughs> it looks like uh, it's, a, it's a sailor type pantyhose. Actually it says Navy Pacific Mist, so uh, it's playing on something, something to do with being in the Navy, I guess. I can't really imagine them having an advertisement like this uh, now, but it, it sure is neat as a, as a vintage package. This is also uh, a really kind of cool, unique one. It's very psychedelic. As you can see, the model is doing um, kind of like a Woodstock type uh, 60s dance. So I think that's really cool. These are extra sheer flat knit sandal foot pantyhose. And um, yeah, they have two shots of the model doing a bit of a dance and the whole rainbow um, uh, design, which reminds me of the 60s too. Uh, that one's pretty cool. This one I thought is kind of funny. Um, here we have two models uh, holding umbrellas, because umbrellas have so much to do with pantyhose. And um, it's called a Hush Hush Pantyhose. And the models have these kind of cute tops on, um, and they're, uh, looks maybe like late 60s, early 70s, and they just are wearing the pantyhose as bottoms. I think that's really kind of cute and funny. And here it says, it's a famous national brand. <laughs> I've never heard of Hush Hush, but I guess, according to this, it was quite famous. <laughs> There's a couple other um, cute ones. I thought this is uh, kind of a neat package. Um, this is the Woolworth Crush Stretch Pantyhose. So here it has the model. Again, um, like a lot of the other advertisements, it's, um, you know, the girl's nude covering and the pantyhose are on without any underwear. 
And um, then it has the hand here with the pantyhose, and there's kind of like a look, little look-see window, so you can see the type of material it is. And I guess it's probably there to demonstrate the whole crush stretch uh, element, I'm assuming. And this is also one size fits all, which I find curious. Um, these new crush pantyhose have amazing stretch, fabulous fit, exquisite sheerness, and wonderful wear. Those are, uh, those are pretty cute. And I think Woolworth, that was a department store uh, back then, so these must be a department store brand. funny. I like the pose uh, the model's in, and I like uh, the fact that she's wearing this kind of cute little checkered vest. Um, this looks really, you know, 60s, 70s to me. I can't really imagine a model wearing just pantyhose and this funny <laughs> vest nowadays. But it's, re it's really cute. Um, it's called Perfect Plus. Sheer nude pantyhose. Unconditionally guaranteed to fit or your money back. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's kind of cute. These ones are beige. Here's the back. And here, yeah, it has a little look-see window. So you can see the, the color that you're buying. And it seems to me that a lot of the pantyhose from this era are quite tan. So I imagine that was the look um, that you wore the pantyhose to have your um, a legs appear more tan than maybe they were naturally to cover up blemishes and uh, make them look silky and long. This is another one size fits all, Lee Smar pantyhose. Uh, I like this little kind of editorial type shot. And here there's instructions on the back how to put pantyhose on, just in case you're not familiar. Um, it says, gently gather pantyhose down to the toes as you do regular stockings. Fit stockings over toe, foot, and heel, and straighten hose carefully until smooth. I think that's really cute. Oh, and then here, step four is, with both legs in the hose, just below hips, place ha both hands inside the panty, palms against legs. So here it almost looks like she's in this, like, funny little straight jacket of the pantyhose. I guess they're trying to um, recommend ways that you can put them on without getting any tears. So I think that is uh, that's pretty cute right there. I wanted to show you, since many of these were ordered um, from eBay, one of the French ones, if I can see that. Oh, here we go. Here's a French, um, probably French-Canadian, uh, pantyhose package. Um, I think this shot's really beautiful. It's not necessarily dated. I mean, it looks a little 70s, but I think you could still have something like this nowadays. Um, this is sheer to waist trim fit, and uh, most of the writing on here is French. And the bottom it says printed in Canada, so probably is French Canadian. These look like they're um, black. Navy. It says Navy. I think that's a, that's an interesting one. And here's, uh, last but not least, our uh, Sheerest Cling. I think this looks like it's a little more, um, like maybe late 70s. Looks like it's possibly going into the early 80s. The advertisement looks slightly more current. Uh, this is more what you see nowadays, kind of a closer crop of the pantyhose um, and uh, just kind of focusing on the on the woman woman's leg a little more. And it says delectably soft, sheer and silky, sandalfoot cotton crotch. And these are actually also in navy. So maybe navy was a, a really popular color for pantyhose back in the 60s and 70s. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed um, viewing some of the vintage pantyhose packages, and hopefully we'll catch you next time on the pantyhose review. I'm Lori. Thank you.